Hi everyone and welcome to my ServiceNow YouTube channel. Uh, hopefully you've seen me before and it's not it's the first time. Welcome to my channel. We talk about mostly everything about in ServiceNow and what you can do and how you can do it. Just noticed how my chrome filter actually makes the my top button which is green to, to disappear, which you can see is kind of weird. <laughs> Need to set those filters, I guess. Uh, anyway, today we're going to talk about how to set or change the default language on the instance or your portal without the user is actually being logged in. And that is something I talked to a colleague of mine earlier this week and got me thinking that hmm, we found a solution for it. And then, of course, perhaps there's someone out there that needs to do this as well. So let's let's go through and see how it is, or not how it is, how it works. If you haven't seen me before or heard me before and you will notice in my YouTube videos my buttons never want to change the PowerPoint slides. Well, my name is Goran Lankwich, aka the Witch Doctor. Been working with ServiceNow for a couple of years now. Everything from the, the technical side to the architects to the best practice processes, yeah, you name it. Been both a customer first and then took a dive and now working as a technical uh, consultant with Fuitsu for a couple of years now. Love playing around at the community, helping you guys out, trying to find solutions, learning new stuff every day. Got my contact information down to the left and try to point, but it's always the wrong way over there somewhere. Uh, but enough about me. What we're going to talk about is this, how to change default language of the instance, <coughs> of course, when no one is logged in. and. We're also going to take a look at the feature that I have seen on the community for quite a while ago, which have actually changed for the London release as well. But how to allow people to change language without logging in. Perhaps you have a total public uh, portal that you would like to have in multiple language or something like that. This is a way to do it. So let's screw that powerpoint and let's go into the instance so let me just cut down the powerpoint and let's get going so basically what we are talking about is this logging screen which basically looks like this we would like in this case to change this to germany or german uh, as a default and of course we would like to to change the login.do as well, so that one is German as well. Now, this one you can of course redo the whole page, write everything in, in German or something like that, and when you have spent all that time, then suddenly someone from the business comes and say, hey, we want that one in English instead, and then you have to redo everything. So, we can do this in a lot easier way, and it's really simple. The only thing I noticed about it is that <coughs> when testing it, you might run into some caching problems, meaning that you change it and it doesn't happen, but be patient, it will happen. What we do, we actually go, and before I'll s let you into the secret, I'm just going to show you what I did. I activated it uh, just so you know I don't make my languages myself i18n and let's filter on that one i have activated the german translations and then of course the internalizations will be automated as well so back to the users and why are we going there you might ask basically because when you're not logged in you are logged in as the guest or you're not logged in but you are a guest so what we actually just do is we change the language of the guest so let's hit german and as you can see i've been playing around adding my own languages as well but in this case i'll add german to the guest so now the guest is speaking german and let's see if it hits directly i'll log out ah here you see directly now suddenly we have it in dutch and if i reload this page, let's see and hope. 
you might have some kind of uh, caching issue as well so if you don't get this close down the, the web browser and just uh, reopen it and it should working so that is the first thing we wanted to do uh, and you saw both the login page and the, the portal login page is now on Deutsch here we can easily say now I want this to be in English and log in and then I will of course take my user's language when I log in as well now second thing was what if you had a portal that you actually would like to have in another language and let the users themselves decide which language you want to have and by that let me find my mouse there we go let's reload <coughs> Let's take a look at the landing page, which is the page we are heading on. As you can see, there is actually a language choice. But if you remember, going incognito, that is the out of the box language switch in London. And we're back to the German. I'm going to change that back because my German isn't that good even if I was supposed to take three years of German in my class I can't see many say many sentences in German so let's let's save that one and it will go away as you can see the language isn't here and that is actually because of one reason and that is let me go back let me edit this widget and as you can see this widget isn't public what's good about this is that even this is the baseline so you can't change anything but you, or you can change one thing and that is the public checkbox so I can actually check that one and save it now if I go back and reload it will show there we go but and here you can see the bug I changed it back to or not the bug but the caching problem I changed back to English but it still doesn't show but if I go like this new incognito and now we will have it in English but like I said no values and that is one of the problems we had that you're not allowed to read from that table but in London they actually changed this version or this widget this auto and updated the, the functionality how it actually fetches the values and so on so in this version you can see that it's actually fetching it to rest and if i go back here i think if we go and take a look at my tools and the consoles you can see that we get error message that we are not allowed to load those resources so this is actually coming from that one might coming from other widgets that are hidden here or something like that as well but so if you don't want to redo the whole thing about that what you can do is actually take an older version of that language with widget uh, and reuse that one instead and i have actually done that to show you how you can do it so let me go to this page uh, the design is a little bit different it, you need to do some graphical changes on that one because it doesn't look as good as that one but I'll leave that one up to you now you can see we have two different ones and if I go to the preview you can see here's that one and here's that one here we have English if I choose German then and apply wonder if I can apply in the preview yeah 
that works. And let's go back to my away from the preview. And now I have everything in German. That's good. Uh, so let's take a look how it looks in I didn't have any incognito windows so let's get one still have that one now I have hopefully two language lectures this one can't find anything because they're still not allowed to actually go and fetch values so that's why that is happening I have make it public and in the XML file you can download from my GitHub it will be set as public directly as well otherwise you might if you fetch it from another place you will need to, to mark it as public as well but let's make this one work so what we need to do is actually two things one thing is to make the table public and we do this here And I got it in German. Let's let me log out and log in again. English, thank you very much. You can see that language which works at least. This is public at least new one. And it's the sys language we want. We want it to be active, so it's public. And let's just make sure there it is. And then we will uh, oops, sorry, we need to have two ACLs so people are actually allowed to not impersonate to read from the table. So we go to ACLs, we'll create new, and we'll wait and get our disappearing button we'll have read access on the language tables and none is for the, the table itself we need to give it the public role and I'll hit save then we like to allow the wildcard so you can read all the fields and I'll just have insert with roles. So now we have created two ACLs. Those two, whoops. Those two. So let's see, do we have the incognito window? Let's give it a shot and see if we can just reload it. Now you can see I am a user. I can click and choose German instead. Apply. Now the portal will be in German instead without me being logged in. I can actually search and continue working whatever stuff that you have in your portal that is open for the public. So now you can have a portal with multi language without the user logging in. Uh, then, of course, if I drop the browser go back you will see that it will be the default language again so it doesn't remember the last time when you were there uh, and as well remember that if I choose Germany and play around then log in then it will actually change to the users language of the user that is logged in so today we looked at two things about the user record Changing the user guest user's language will change the default language when you're not logged in. And we have the widget to be able to change uh, the language on the portal without the user logging in as well. Uh, remember, if you have the London version, that language switch uh, widget out of the box won't work. You need to have older version. Uh, I have on my GitHub on the episode 6 public language changer put in mine uh, is that mine yeah that is put in my XMS file so you pretty much just go into any lists 
like this you can actually be on any table list right court import select my file import it and then you will have a, a widget called the VD uh, language switch so that's about it from me so thanks for watching and see you around